Manyagana is an ancient writing system that employs Chinese characters to represent the Japanese language, and was the first known kana system to be developed as a means to represent the Japanese language phonetically. The date of the earliest usage of this type of kana is not clear, but it was in use since at least the mid-7th century. The name, Manyagana, derives from the Manyoshu, a Japanese poetry anthology from the Nara period written with Manyagana. Though texts using this system also often use Chinese characters for their meaning, Manyagana refers only to such characters when used to represent a phonetic value. These values were derived from the contemporary Chinese pronunciation, though sometimes native Japanese readings of the character were also used. For example, mu whose character means tree could be read as mo, based on Middle Chinese muk, or ko, or kwi, meaning tree in Old Japanese. Simplified versions of manyagana eventually gave rise to both the hiragana and katakana scripts used in modern Japanese. <inaudible> Origin A possible oldest example of manyagana is the iron Inariyama sword that was excavated at the Inariyama Kofun in 1968. In 1978, X-ray analysis revealed a gold inlaid inscription consisting of at least 115 Chinese characters and this text, written in Chinese, included Japanese personal names which were supposedly phonetically written. This sword is thought to have been made in the year Shin Hainyen 471 AD in commonly accepted theory. There is a possibility that the inscription of the Inariyama sword may be written in a version of the Chinese language used in the Korean peninsula kingdom of Baekje. The Kojiki and the Nihon Shoki both state that Manyagana was introduced to Japan from the Korean kingdom of Baekje, and though direct evidence is hard to come by, most scholars tend to accept this idea. Principles <inaudible> 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 Manyagana uses kanji characters for their phonetic rather than semantic qualities in other words, they are used for their sounds and not their meanings. There was no standard system for choice of kanji, different kanji could be used to represent the same sound, the choice made on the whims of the writer. By the end of the 8th century, 970 kanji were in use to represent the 90 more of Japanese, far more than what was needed. For example, the Manioshu poem 17 4025 was written as follows. In the poem, the sounds mo, mu mao and shi, ji si are written with multiple, different characters. While all particles and most words are represented phonetically e.g., duo tai tata, and zuo asa, the words ji, lu umi, hai and funaka ji, chuan wei are rendered semantically. In some cases, specific syllables in particular words are consistently represented by specific characters. This usage is known as jodai tokushu kanazukai. This usage has led historical linguists to conclude that certain disparate sounds in Old Japanese, consistently represented by differing sets of manyagana characters, may have merged since then. Types In writing which utilizes manyagana, kanji are mapped to sounds in a number of different ways, some of which are straightforward and others which are less so. Shikuan kana jia yin fan ming are based on a Sino-Japanese aniomi reading, in which one character represents either one mora or two more. Shakan kana jia shuan fan ming are based on a native kuniomi reading, one to three characters represent one to three more. Development Due to the major differences between the Japanese language which was polysyllabic and the Chinese language which was monosyllabic from which kanji came, manyagana proved to be very cumbersome to read and write. As stated earlier, since kanji has two different sets of pronunciation, one based on Sino-Japanese pronunciation and the other on native Japanese pronunciation, it was difficult to determine whether a certain character was used to represent its pronunciation or its meaning, i.e., whether it was manyagana or actual kanji, or both. On top of that, Buddhist monks found recording oral teachings time-consuming, since every syllable would need to be written using an entire kanji which might have up to 23 strokes even if one considers only the most common kanji, to alleviate the confusion and to save time writing, kanji that were used as manyagana eventually gave rise to hiragana and katakana. 
Hiragana was developed from Manyagana written in the highly cursive Sosho style popularly used by women. Katakana was developed by Buddhist monks as a form of shorthand, utilizing, in most cases, only fragments for example, the first or last few strokes of Manyagana, characters. In some cases, one Manyagana character for a given syllable gave rise to the current Hiragana equivalent, and a different one gave rise to the current Katakana equivalent. For example, the hiragana ru, ru is derived from the manyagana lu, whereas the katakana ru, ru is derived from the manyagana lu. The use of multiple, different kanji to represent a single syllable also led to hentigana, bian ti fan ming alternate letterforms for hiragana. Hentigana were officially made obsolete in 1900. Manyagana continues to appear in some regional names of present-day Japan, especially in Kyushu. A phenomenon similar to manyagana, called ateji, dang te zi still occurs, where words including loanwords are spelled out using kanji for their phonetic value. Examples include ju le bu kuribu, club, fo lan chi faransu france, a fu li ja afrika, africa and ya mi li ja america, america. See also IDU script, Korean analog